Wow, I've hit another milestone. You are viewing episode 300, and I'm going to cover my five favorite multimedia applications that I use in Linux. We're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Before I begin, I would like to take this time to thank the following contributors for making this show really great. In no particular order, I would like to thank Voltum and the Linux distro community. I would also like to thank Oscar Foundation for hosting the Zoo Crew episodes. Total OS Today, thank you, Carmine, for working with me on so many different podcasts. You've really helped to build this show up a lot. Infinitely Galactic, thank you, Pingcasts. Linux for you and me, This Week in Linux, Quids Up, Sneaky Linux, ICOS, Sys Admin Girl, and Danny Edwards. I'd also like to t take this time to thank all of my subscribers and contributors. And I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers as well. I wish I could welcome you all individually. Unfortunately, time doesn't permit me to do that. But I really appreciate all of your feedback, your comments, your suggestions, and your financial support. You guys are the best, and you know it. Thank you, all of you. There are so many wonderful multimedia applications that are available for Linux. I wish I had the time to cover all of them. Unfortunately, I don't. But I am going to cover what I consider to be my favorite applications that I spend the most time playing with. Now, if you guys know of any multimedia applications that you are currently using, please let me know about them, and I'll be happy to look at them. And if I feel it's something I'm going to be using on a regular basis, I will be delighted to check them out, and if it's something that I would use, I'll definitely put tutorials up for you. Now, as many of you know, I am making a transition from proprietary Windows software to the free and open source software in Linux, and there are a lot of gems. And this first piece of software I'm going to talk about, of course, is Blender. Everybody has seen my new titles, and um, I'll tell you what, in 60 hours from the time of installing it to uh, completing those titles, it took me, a, yeah, it took about 60 hours, roughly, learning how to use it and learning its workflow. I can remember the big learning curve I had to go through when learning Hexagon and Carrera when I was using that in Windows. And I found that the new Blender interface is a wonderful workflow to work, you know, to work with and get these projects done. Not only is it a magnificent modeler, but it is an excellent animator. It is a compositor. And it does video editing as well. It's like multiple applications in one. There are so many great tutorials on YouTube that you can uh, easily wrap your head around this software. And if you haven't had an opportunity to have a look at this gem, I suggest you do so. Now, back in the Windows days, I used to use a program called Adobe Audition. And I've had an opportunity to watch this next program mature. This is an excellent replacement for Adobe Audition. And of course, I am speaking of Audacity. Now, it doesn't have the most beautiful graphical user interface, but the thing is, it does get the job done well. The thing I like about it so much is the fact that they have really improved uh, the way that its plugins work, and now it handles noise reduction very well, and there are a number of other little plugins uh, that this comes with that allows you to really get the best sound out of your audio production, even if you have poor audio footage to work at. To work with. So I highly recommend that you have a look at Audition. It is another wonderful tool to have in any multimedia user's toolbox. In some of my previous videos, you'll remember me uh, showing you that I was using both KDN Live and OpenShot and a combination and that sort of thing. KDN Live is my favorite video editor. When I was using Windows, I used to use Sony Vegas to do all my editing, and I also used a freeware program to do my compositing called Cinegobes. Well, turns out that the latest and greatest freer plugins used with Kadian Live provide everything that my Windows software 
used to do and it does it even better in Linux in half the time. I highly recommend that you try out Kadian Live. It is a great precision video editor. If you're still new to Linux and you're a novice video editor, OpenShot does the job quite well too. But Kadian Live is really where it's at. I love the plugins. I like the MLT renderer that it comes with. Absolutely amazing software and I cannot sing the community enough praises for creating this wonderful gem. My next piece of multimedia software I use, well, you see me use it all the time. It is a wonderful replacement for Cheese or Webcam Studio, and I am speaking of GoofC View, which is uh, my webcam viewer. And the nice thing I like about this is uh, it allows me to choose just about any dimensions that I want to for my webcam. And uh, it does a nice job of audio and video recording uh, for me so that I don't have to do an actual screencast with FFmpeg. It, it all handles it for me in one nice compact application and if you haven't checked out Gussie View, I highly recommend that you do so. Finally, in my multimedia roundup, I'd like to cover another gem that I have found and this is a wonderful replacement for the proprietary Windows software FL Studio or what you may call Fruity Loops. Uh, I have used that program for many, many, many years, and I use that to author all of my soundtracks and everything for my show. And in switching over to free and open source software, I have been playing around with the Linux Multimedia Studio and toying around with some of my old VST plugins that I used to use in the FL Studio program, and now I'm playing with them here. The only reason why you haven't seen any tutorials up is because I'm still trying to wrap my head around this program, but I'm really liking what I see on this, and I highly recommend to check it out. All right, and there you have it, and this necktie is killing me. But uh, at any rate, that was my listing of all of my favorite multimedia applications. Of course, I'm always looking for more, so definitely fill out the space below, and uh, I'll be happy to review those. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.